today's Saturday morning. I thought sure we was going to get by without any uh, rain yesterday. And then all of a sudden, by the time we got home, it started storming and came a downpour. So, during that time, big lightning strike hit a tree over here just out the road. I was actually standing at the door looking out when it happened. Blowed the whole top out of it and fell out in the road. So me and Clayton went and cleaned it up. And after the rain quit, I went down Willie's and mowed most of his field. I left one little strip where some water, it's a little low spot where water runs from a drain pipe. And uh, I just left it till this morning, kind of give the, the water time to run off. So I'm gonna run back down there and mow that. I'm gonna ride the bus down, I think. And mow that little strip, bring the Kubota back home. Then I will take the 135 and the tether back down. Um, and tether it all later today and leave it parked down there and have the bus to ride back home. I was hoping to have my farm track back, um, but they said the tire, it looked like something, I had run over something and kind of ruptured the tire. It wasn't stuck in the tire, but the tire had been ruptured and it was busted and split open on the inside pretty bad. It didn't look so bad on the outside, but the inside was damaged. So I don't know, I haven't seen it. But they said they found a tire somewhere I had one in the warehouse somewhere and they could have it by Monday and I almost had them go ahead and boot it and just run it and see how it did but dad suggested you know with the supply issues and uh, the labor of taking it off and having to buy another tube if something happened to the tire the old tire might be better just to go ahead and get that one while they could get it so that's what we decided to do treble they're going to be different tread patterns um on the back versus the other tire i've got it's still an r1 tire but different tread pattern which drives me crazy i can't stand that on tractors but i guess i'll just have to deal with it so we'll get we'll get started pretty foggy down this way Just high enough at home to where we don't get much fog. Or right in that, right where we live, I don't know why, but we don't we don't get fog very often. Down this way it's always fog. pretty decent hay on it and I sprayed it uh, back in July so it didn't have hardly any weeds just hope it'll dry out before we can get it bailed right in here is a little bit 
bit rough. Got the mowing finished up. Went ahead and trimmed the Kubota home. I guess now I'll get to 135. Oh boy. And get this trailer parked out of the way somewhere. And hook the tether up. Fill this tractor up and hook the tether to it. And let it dry off a little bit and we'll go start tethering one of the first fields I mowed and work our way down the Work our way down the road. Need me some gravel in here. Need some gravel.
hadn't hooked up the tatter and Rossi Vortex tatter to the 135. I almost hooked it to the farm track, or not the farm track, farm track's down, but uh, to the Kubota. But I thought I'd go ahead and use this and I'll just tram it down the ridge and leave it down there and pull the rake down with the pickup when we rake down there and I'll rake up here with the Kubota. And hopefully the hay dries to the point where we can rake it. But I'm not going to take y'all with me to tether. I don't want to keep up with the camera. There's not a good place to carry it on this tractor and it not get knocked off by tree limbs or to where I have to worry with it. Y'all have seen plenty of tethering, so uh, we'll catch back with it at another point. <laughs> 